Hey, I heard that the president's son got in. Ugh, nepotism. How's it been? Yeah, but he's a normal guy. <sighs> really? Maybe he'll reveal his true self when we least expect it. <sighs> That's scary. I'll come back. I wanted coffee, though. My name is Kazuki Hayama. I work at a temp agency. Good work today. Are you used to it? Suo-san. I'm getting there. <laughs> this is Chiono Suo. She's one of the secretaries, and we've known each other since before I came in. <laughs> good, good. We're in different departments, but let me know if you need help. She must be busy too, but she always talks to me. She's so nice. But it might be for a good reason, because I'm the president's son that the women were talking about. A few months ago, I told my dad I was going to find another job and he told me to work for him. I accepted and started working. Suo-san probably just cares for me as his secretary. Don't get any ideas. We know each other, but this is just business. That makes me a little sad. Hayama! Is daddy's boy taking a nice little break? Must be nice to be the president's son. The one insulting me was Ikari Chigusa. He was always mean to me and I didn't like him. Do this when you're done with your break. You're a newbie like anyone else, so you're gonna listen to me. Don't think I'll spoil you like the boss or his secretary. He must have been watching. Y yes sir Wait, is this the one from the hearing? That one's skills are unbalanced, but they have a lot of terms. I'm busy. Send them an email saying there's nothing for them right now. Then they'll give up. You're just gonna decide that like this? Huh? Oh yeah, you were in IT before, huh? Then take over. I'll take care of the switch. You do this one, if you can. I'll do it, leave it to me. My job is to introduce jobs to people and support them. But this looks like a tough case. What are you thinking about? Can't find a match? From what I can see, these skills don't match a lot of jobs. I think I should meet with them and ask for more info. Sounds good! Let me know if I can help! Asahi, are you talking to Hayama? Don't push any work on him, okay? How rude! I'm an honorable man with pure intentions! That voice makes that hard to believe. No! This is a character! Like a cute mascot! At best, you're a frog. What? Hayama! Kanji-san is bullying me! Haha, <laughs> chin up! Naoya Asahi was my age and my former trainer. He could never win against Mei Kanji. Hey, you rely on Hayama too much. Because Hayama is nice. Sometimes I forget he's the heir to this place. My face clouded over. But Asahi, Kanji, and everyone except Chigusa treated me like any other person. A few months later, I was able to work normally. Kanji-san's not here? Her kid is sick! The preschool won't take them if they have a fever! I see. Her husband is on a business trip, right? Working and raising a child is hard. Hard, I'll say. She takes time off and all that work comes to us. What a nuisance. If her husband works, why doesn't she quit and focus on other things? Hey, she has her reasons. Don't say that. Reasons? Everyone who comes here says that, but it's all excuses. But when you're born into privilege like you, it's easy to say stuff like that. Lucky? Chigusa's words insulted all kinds of people. It made me angry. You! You little- How dare you- What? What? Asahi's alien language gathered everyone's attention. Uh, what's going on? 
Tsuo-san, this is... Tis nothing! Chigusa was at a disadvantage with Suo-san there, so he left quickly. He ran! It's okay, Asahi. If we keep going, it'll just look bad for us. But he insulted Kanji-san and you! Asahi wasn't going to calm down anytime soon, so I explained. Suo-san heard me out and sighed apologetically. I see. He's always has some issues. I'll warn him and consider transferring. He overreacts over people's status and history. He sees things negatively. <sighs> I heard he grew up in a not-so-fortunate environment. I see. Everyone has their struggles. Yeah. Hayama is a good boy for thinking that. My kohai. Uh, <laughs> you've always helped me out since our school days. We were from the same college and met in our club. That's why we knew each other and she still cares for me. I just have to look at Chigusa as an example of what not to do and work hard so I can repay the people that took care of me. I guess... I'll do what I can to, but... Hmm? Don't hold anything back. Don't do it all alone. Promise? Suo-san has always been like this. She cared about me and treated me with kindness. I can't. I was trying not to think about it. The admiration I felt towards Suo-san in school might have been a crush. From that day, I would be invited to meals by Suo-san more often. The next day at noon, I had been overwhelmed with work done the morning, so I went to the break room to take a breather. Then... This is for you. What? Kanji-san, what's this? I heard from someone. You and Asahi got mad at Chikusa for me? Also for the work. You took care of something I'm in charge of. Thank you. I feel guilty. I'm able to do this because of everyone around me. Don't worry about it. Asahi is really knowledgeable about franchises, so it was helpful. Kanji-san, leave that one to me. I'm good at it. Ugh. I keep racking up debt toward Asahi. I might not be able to make fun of him anymore. Thanks, Asahi. Asahi looked proud of himself when you contacted him. Grr. I can picture it. The other employees must have heard because they chimed in. I heard too. Chigusa is scary, right? But you got mad at him. You're brave. I have to leave early a lot to go to the hospital, so I'm always worried I'm causing trouble. I judged you for being the president's son. It's not like they're all bad people. But I'm sorry. This is to make up for it. Then, the women placed the snacks that they brought into my hand. Oh, thank you. I think I'm confident now. I'm gonna work hard. Chigusa was in a bad mood. He came over with loud footsteps. I had a bad feeling. You! Don't get cocky! Don't get cocky just because your dad is the boss. Do you think your future is promised? No, I don't. Also, I don't intend to take over the company, so I'm no different than anyone else. That attitude is cockiness! You! Do all this by today! Oh? Uh -huh. I see. You use your position as the senpai to push your work onto Hayama. Chigusan and I were both shocked by Suo-san's sudden appearance. S suo san How? Just doing my rounds. I heard there's an employee that's been acting up. Were they talking about you? Wh what? I was just giving directions on what to do. I gotta go. Chigusa left in a hurry. Suo-san glared at him as he left. Even if you're not the heir, does he not think that his actions will go back to the president? I think he'll see hell soon! Agreed. Jeez, he's so aggressive. Thank you, Suo-san. Oh, but I'll do this. Suo-san looked upset and angry when I said that. Why? He was supposed to do that. 
There's no reason for you to take on the work. I know, but I feel like having Chigusa do this is pointless. Also, Suo-san, I need to talk to you. A few days later, Chigusa was called to the president's office. Chigusa seemed uncomfortable. He was overwhelmed by Keiji Hayama's presence. I've heard a lot about you from my secretary and other employees. I talked to the department head too. It doesn't seem like things will get better. This is not good. Is where I'm at, but do you have any thoughts? Ah, uh, I was tough on your son, but I didn't have any ill intent. I wanted him to grow, actually. And I became overwhelmed and lashed out. I regret it deeply. I see. You're doing your best. Is that what you want to say? Even if you have to put others down and slack on your own work? What? <coughs> Suo-san and I entered the room. We were told to wait outside before. Kazuki, you tell him. Chigusa-san, do you remember Tanaka-san who was switched from you to me last month? You told me to reject them, but they found a job. What? They only have that super niche certification and no work experience. Yes, so we met up many times and adjusted the terms and found companies that fit those skills. We didn't just match people with companies. We also did franchising work. I had Asahi help me and found companies that could use their skills. A startup was looking for that kind of person. Tanaka-san was hired and is doing well. They said they couldn't find anyone no matter who they talked to, so I'm glad we were both able to gain something. Huh? Doing all that for one client is dumb! How much effort does that take? It's not efficient. I think some of it was luck, but I gained their trust. And Chigusa-san, you switched clients a lot. I'm taking care of most of them now. There were complaints that you never had any jobs to offer. What? We each take care of a lot of clients, so it's busy and a lot of work. So that means people with difficult terms and low motivation are low priority. But you prioritized your numbers and efficiency and got rid of anyone that wasn't a plus for you. You get rewarded when a client gets hired, right? Huh? But if you meet with them and do your research, you can find jobs for some people. Isn't it our job to support people like that? Also, your resume edits are not good. I did the ones you gave me. What? You didn't say no because my work was bad? Yes, the way you support is not good so people don't get through with their paperwork. If the Asian doesn't do well, of course hiring rates will go down. That's why your numbers won't go up. Chigusa's record was actually not that good. So he started focusing on efficiency and lost people's trust. It was a bad loop. This is the reality. Your superior doubts your work and your potential. You've been here for a while, but don't you think it's time? Even Chigusa had nothing to say. So, Kazuki, it's time. Sorry, I'm late. I'll be excused. I bowed and left. I worked so hard with no results. I started looking for efficiency and get told off by the president's son. Why? I need to aim higher. Chigusa, do you know where Kazuki is going? What? No. To meet his mother. She, my sister, is in a mental ward. She goes in and out. Huh? Your sister? But but Yeah, Kazuki is my stepson and nephew. I took him in 15 years ago. My sister was taking care of Kazuki by herself, similar to your situation. Chigusa gulped. I lived with just my mom as a kid. We were poor, but it was peaceful. 
One day, my mom had become tired of her workplace and the work. She couldn't live normally anymore. She was deemed unfit to take care of me and my uncle took me in. He's humble. He doesn't let people know when he's struggling. He tried to do it all on his own. I told him I'd pay for college, but he got a scholarship and graduated. You could say he's stubborn. I was told I had to move for my last job. I wanted to be close to my mom, so I quit. I didn't want to use my connections, but I was struggling to find a job, so I accepted my uncle's offer. I have no other candidates, and Kazuki is a good guy. It'd be nice if he took over. Leave it to someone you can trust. We talked about me taking over before I started working, but it was too much, so I declined. But I wanted to repay him with my hard work. Hayama struggled, so he knows how to support people. That's why he earns people's trust. Chigusa san, you always said that saying you have your reasons is an excuse. Isn't that about you? You use your struggles to look down on others. What? You don't deserve to lead others. Chigusa was left speechless once again. We're gonna transfer you. It might not be what you want, but okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Chigusa answered in a small voice. Soon after, he was transferred and disappeared. Maybe he didn't fit in. Maybe he wasn't motivated. He quit after a month. He returned to his hometown. I said I won't come back until I'm rich and successful, but look at me. A few days later, Chigusa went to his family home and saw his mother for the first time in years. I'm home. Oh, welcome back. They had fought before he left, but his mom greeted him with a smile. But... She's gotten so weak. She's pale and she's walking weird. Is she sick? She didn't say anything. You worked hard in the city, right? I made the food that you like. The scent of soy sauce from the kitchen. His mom had changed, though. Chigusa realized how much time he had wasted on work. I never called or messaged. I... I left my mom alone. I'm sorry, mom. I only thought about myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you crying? You've always been a little out of it. You can't turn back time no matter what. Chigusa was back at square one. There weren't many jobs in his town. He started working as a temp. I'm gonna work hard till the end of the day. I've been working like I always had. To live with my mom after she gets out. To pay back my uncle. But this is a lot. Ganji! We have a slacker over here! My husband is back so he can do the housework. Take over! What? You guys, I'm doing that! But my efforts were fruitless. I was pushed out into the hall. You look well. Suo-sang! I saw Suo-san and finally realized their intentions. Um, I'm free tonight now. Would you like to grab dinner? <laughs> I guess I'll keep you company. This is a first. Suo-san looked happy. Does this mean what I think it does? There are all kinds of people. You can't tell all of it by looks or your resume. What you think is logical may not be for someone else. That's why I want to treat each individual person with respect. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Nothing is as great as maternal love. I'm glad Chigusa could realize in the end that he was only thinking of himself once he saw his mom. Hayama and Chiono was really cute in the end. I wish them happiness and all the best. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.